One moment, friends. My laptop is getting hanged a little bit. Just give me a moment. Just wait for a moment, friends. One moment, friends. Oh, my whole laptop has suddenly got stuck. Just give me one minute; it will be fine. All right, looks to be all right now. <clears throat> Let me open in my phone also. So friends, I believe everybody is clear with material variance and labor variance. In labor variance, we were doing a subconstruct that S H is based on is based on what actual output. Yes. So friends, I think this is where I stopped before the break. Particulars. Budget actual. All right. Now let us assume the output is turning out to be. We were talking about fish fry, right? So seventy fish fries. But here this fellow has made only fifty fish fries. What was the time that was your standard time for fish fry? Was how many minutes, friends? In our example, <coughs> I think we took it as ten minutes, right? So, if it's ten minutes, means can you tell me if you are making seventy means how many minutes will be required? Seven hundred minutes, and I think the rate that we decided was ten rupees per minute. Assume the actual time taken over here is turning out to be fifty fish fry would take around thousand minutes, and assume the rate is eight rupees per minute. Can you solve this and tell me what answer you will get over here?
Brilliant. Many have already got the answer. Let others also do it. <clears throat> Friends, shall we do it together now? Are you all getting the same answer? Wonderful. By now, you must have understood that SH is based on what? Actual output. AH into AR, AH into SR. Those who have already done the homework of the video, you will find all this easy. Others might find it a little tricky, friends. So here it will be 500 minutes into 10 rupees. But the actual is 1000 minutes into 8 rupees. Okay. So you will get the answer as 5000 here, 8000 over here, and 10,000 over here. Right. So what is the difference that you get over here? 3000 adverse, 2000 favorable, 5000 adverse. Everybody got this answer? Perfect. Okay. So this is efficiency. One moment, friends. This one is turning out to be rate variance, all right? And this will be the overall cost variance. I'll give you a minute more. Those who are still doing, let them finish. After which, we'll go to the next part. Fine friends, I believe everybody is done with this part. 
can i go to the next one now friends same way now i'll write down the next sub concept r a h r a h friends now what was the food that this fellow was making bread omelet friends so there are two people involved over here i want one more fellow's name from this class friends first one is deepak he is cooking the bread omelet and it will take him how much time to cook a bread omelet i think the time was 10 minutes am i right i'll catch one more fellow from this class let me catch ahan let us assume deepak is the cook and ahan is the waiter so what is the role of a waiter friends he will deliver the food to the customer assume it takes him 1 minute to deliver the food so can i not say every time it take deepak to uh, make a bread omelet will take him 10 minutes ahan will take another 1 minute for delivery so the ratio of deepak to ahan will be how much 10 is to 1 all right be keeping this i'll prepare a table now particulars budget and then you will have actual so deepak was planning to make 70 bread omelet but he made only 50 bread omelet okay for making 70 bread omelet ideally the time of deepak should be 700 minutes the rate for deepak is going to be 10 rupees per minute the time taken by ahan will be how much friends 1 minute delivery so total time will be 70 minutes and what will be the rate of ahan let's assume it is 5 rupee per minute now when the actual data came up the actual data was for 50 this fellow took around let us say 250 minutes only all right and let us say the rate came down to 5 rupees per minute so full savings over here instead of 70 minutes that is 1 minute per this thing he spent only 25 minutes over here and he ended up paying only 4 rupees per minute friends write down this can you try solving it on your own if you don't get the answer i will do it on the board
write down this print Are you all done writing this things?
Okay, Aman, you've got the answer. Let others also do it. <coughs> Friends, are you all done? Shall I try? Shall we do it together now? All right. <clears throat> Particulars. You have skilled and then you have unskilled. SH into SR, AH into AR, AH into SR, RAH into SR. So friends, now when you talk about SH, 50 into 10 minutes will be 500. Okay. <coughs> and the other fellow is 1 minute, right? So 50 into 1 minute will be 50. And what was the standard rate? 10 rupee and 5 rupees, right? But in actual, what has happened? 255, 25, 4. So here again it will be 250, 25, 10, 5. RAH is going to be total actual quantity that is 275 in the ratio of uh, 10 is to 1, right? Divided by 11 into 10. Oh, I'll get correctly the same number here. Oh God. That's a very nice coincidence, friends. Yeah. That is a wonderful coincidence. 5,000 and 250. So 5,250, 1,250, 1,350, 2,500, 2,500 and 125 will be 2,625. Okay. 2,500 into 1, 2,500 plus 125 is again 2,625. So you will get the answer as 3,900 favorable inside this you will have 1,275 favorable <clears throat> and you will have 2,625 favorable inside this your mix will be 0 so your yield will be this amount. Can you write down this in your book now, all of you?
<coughs> Are you all done writing this prints? I believe everybody is done writing this, friends. So we are done with uh, labor variance on flow. After labor, what is the next thing that comes? Okay, inside labor, you can write down one more sub-concept. <clears throat> Idle time variance. Friends, have you already learned the concept of idle time? Tell me, what do you mean by the word idle time? Or in which chapter we learnt about idle time? Which chapter friends? Come on. Where do you learn about idle time? You don't remember? Did you, we have done this in the chapter of employee cost? Am I right? Alright. So now idle time, there are two types of idle time. One is normal idle time and what is the other one? Other one is abnormal idle time. Okay. I had told you this is a part of we should add it to the cost. Am I right? But what about this one? This should go to P and L account. So tell me abnormal idle time. Is it a one minute? Is it an adverse variance or a favorable variance? <coughs> Abnormal idle time. Will it be adverse or will it be favorable? It will be always adverse. The formula for ad, uh, idle time variance is that we should take abnormal idle time multiplied by standard rate. So suppose there is 10 hours of abnormal idle time and the standard rate is 10 rupees per hour, your answer will be 100 rupees adverse. Okay. Can you write down this in your books now, all of you?
Are you all done writing this? I believe everybody is done writing this. I believe everybody is done writing this. Let's go to the next one. Variable overhead variance. Friends, a simple example of variable overhead which I keep giving in the classes of cooking gas. One thing you have to understand, when more production, more cooking gas will be consumed. Less production, less cooking gas will be consumed. All right. We have to understand that labor hours and variable overhead hours will always be the same because only when the labor will be doing some cooking, cooking gas will be consumed. Labor does not work, cooking gas will not work. So, SH and AH of labor and variable overhead will always be the same. So friends, here if I draw a table, the table will go like this. SH into SR, AH into AR, AH into SR. Friends, RAH will not come because you don't have any, just like in labor, you have skilled labor, unskilled labor. In cooking gas, you cannot have a skilled cooking gas, unskilled cooking gas. So no RAH, everybody clear? Just and the format will be variable overhead cost variance. 1 minus 2. Inside this you will have expenditure variance. That is 3 minus 2. And then you will have volume variance. That will be 1 minus 3. Or maybe they call it as efficiency variance here. Write down this in your book now.
friends are you all done writing this also perfect friends let's do some problems now i'll share the material with all of you in web telegram All right, friends. Are you all done? Uh, uh, I think I've shared the material with you. Everyone, please open this material now. The second one, that is the standard costing one. Let's crack some problems now, and then we will go to fixed overhead variance. all right friends now friends can you start solving the problems one by one can you take question number 1 and question number 2 both are easy i'll give you 5 minutes time can you please solve it on your own now please do it on your own your 5 minutes starts now
Wonderful friends, many of you have started getting the answer. I'll just quickly do it on the board friends so that we are all on the same page. It will be 50 into 1. That is 50. What about the second one? 45 into 0.8. That will be how much? That will be 36. Alright, and the last one is going to be 45 into 1. So you will get it as 14 favorable, 9 favorable, 5 favorable. Am I right? Alright. Same way, do the other one also, friends. <coughs> Amar, I didn't get your doubt. Why are we taking 50? See, that's because in this question, this is also the material consumed. 45 is also the material consumed. And both are for one unit of output. So, standard output is also one unit. Actual output is also one unit. Hence, the SQ will remain the same. Are you clear now, uh, Aman? 
it is all for one budget is also one unit actual is also one unit that is why all right please do question number 2 now friends Wonderful. Aman has got the answer. Akash has got the answer. Let others also finish. I'll give you some more time. Let's make our base very much strong in this. is everybody getting this answer friends i will do it now friends here hq is based on actual output so it will be 20 shirts into 2 meters so 20 into 2 meters will be 40 meters into 100 rupees per meter that will give you 4000 aq into ap will be 80 into 200 that is 16000 and the last one is going to be 80 into 100 that is going to be 8000 so you will get 12000 adverts 4000 adverts 8000 adverts can you write down this in your books now
Are you all done with this branch? Anyone still writing? Done, friends. Can you go to the next question now? Everyone do question number three on your own now. It's a question on RAQ. One moment, friends. I'll make a small change here. I think I already had made. One shirt is given. So for 100 shirts, let me make the actual quantity as 1000 here. Okay. And let me make this as 500. Yes, friends. Do it now. Sorry, friends. Sir, is it thousand and five hundred? Yes, thousand and five hundred, yes. Wonderful. Everybody is getting this answer 2400, 4000, 1600. I will do that on the board now, friends, for everyone to get the answer. Particulars. You have A and B. 
एस क्यू इंटू एस पी ए क्यू इंटू ए पी ए क्यू इंटू एस पी एंड द लास्ट वन इज गोइंग टू बी आर ए क्यू इंटू एस पी सो नाउ एक्चुअल इज हंड्रेड शर्ट सो इट विल बी एट हंड्रेड एंड फोर हंड्रेड ओके इंटू सिक्स इंटू फोर सो दैट्स फोर थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड वन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड दैट शुड बी सिक्स थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग एक्चुअल इज गोइंग टू बी थाउजेंड इंटू थ्री फाइव हंड्रेड इंटू टू थ्री थाउजेंड फोर थाउजेंड विल कम ओवर इयर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सिक्स फोर सिक्स थाउजेंड एंड टू थाउजेंड एट थाउजेंड विल कम ओवर इयर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड इन द रेशो ऑफ टू इज टू वन ओह अगेन यू गेट द सेम नंबर माई एफर्ट वॉज नॉट टू गिव यू द सेम नंबर फ्रेंड्स इट्स ओके नथिंग एल्स कैन बी डन चेंज द नंबर्स इन अ वे दैट इट शुड नॉट बी द सेम Okay, I'll make this eight hundred. So thousand eight hundred. Not for now, for the next batch student. Not for you. Okay, you do it in this style only. All right. So now you get. Tell me what is the answer you will get. Do you get the answer as one thousand four hundred? Ah, uh, two thousand four hundred favorable. Four thousand adverse. One thousand six hundred. Ah, favorable is it? So this will also be. Eight thousand. This is four thousand favorable, and this one is adverse. One thousand six hundred is adverse, right? Okay, okay, all right. And inside this, your mixed variance will be zero, so the entire thing will come over here. Can everyone write down this and finish it off? Are you all done with this part? All right, friends. Then let's go to the next one. Labor variance. Can you do it now?
somebody has been unmuted by mistake Are you all getting the answer as 140, 90 and 50? This one is very, very simple, friends. I'll quickly do it. You will have 1000 into 0.5. That is 500, 900 into something that is giving you 360. 900 into 0.5 will give you 450. So you will get 140 favorable. Okay. And then you have 90 favorable and 50 favorable all right one more minute then we'll go to the next problem I believe you are all done friends. Can you do the next question now? Try doing this.
Are you all getting the answer as 4,500? Shall I do it, friend? <coughs> All right. So here, friends, you are having two types of labor. One is skilled, and the other one is unskilled. So ten shirts, ten hours will be hundred hours into ten. Hundred hours into five. Am I right? And the actual turns out to be for ten shirts, it will be two hundred, and I believe it is going to be two hundred into twenty into ten. Okay. So here it will be two hundred. 200, 10, 5, 400 in the ratio will be again 200, 200, and it will be 10 and 5. So 1000 and 500 will be 1500. This one will be 6000, 2000. This one will be 3000, and this one will also be 3000. So you will get 4500 adverse, correct? 3000 adverse and 1500 adverse. Inside this, it will be zero and thousand five hundred at worst. Let everyone finish doing this, friends. Are you all done with this, friends? Now do the last one, question number six. Then we will go to the next advanced level concepts of fixed overhead variance. All right. Oh yes, you want me to work out the idle time part? 
thank you devika for reminding me i completely forgot about idle time let me do that part also they have told 20 hours per worker is lost right so we have a skilled worker and we have an unskilled worker 20 hours skilled worker 20 hours unskilled worker and the standard rate is 10 and 5 so 100 adverse sorry not 100 200 adverse per worker right how many workers are there in total i think only one worker is there correct all right so the total will be how much 300 adverse Fine friends, many have started doing variable overhead. Let everyone finish this part also friends. I believe you are all done writing this, friends. In one minute, we'll go to the next part.
All right, friends. Shall we go to the next part now? Next part is fixed overhead variance. Write down the next concept heading, friends. Fixed overhead variance. Now this is crucial. All right. We will talk about Deepak. Now, friends, what is this? This is a shop. Okay. In this shop, I think I have given you the example already earlier. Do you remember this example for underabsorption, overabsorption? Thousand rupees is the rent. Assume he is able to make hundred fish fry. All right. So now tell me what is the rent per fish fry? It is ten rupee. Okay. And let us assume this shop is a small shop. Instead of small, this fellow can go for a big shop. So when he goes for a big shop, the rent will be two thousand, but the output will be two hundred fish fry. The rate per unit will be ten rupees per unit only. All right. Now what happened? This fellow chose to go with the big shop. All right. So how much rent is coming over here? Two thousand. So I'll draw a table now. Particulars, budget, actual. All right. First I'll explain to you the cost accounting system chapter, overhead chapter. Then we will come to standard costing. So the budgeted output was two hundred fish fry, for which the rent was two thousand rupees. Uh, one minute. So the rent per unit was how much? Ten rupees per unit. Let us assume to make two hundred fish fry. I told I think ten minutes per fish fry, right? So it will take how many minutes over here? Two thousand minutes, and therefore rent per minute. If you see, I will get the answer as one rupee per minute. My dear friends, now Deepak, instead of making two hundred fish fry, he could make and sell only hundred fish fry. But he has to still pay the rent of two thousand rupees only. Instead, what happened was some people were playing cricket outside. They hit a six ball came and hit the window, and the window broke. This fellow ended up paying a rent of two thousand one hundred rupees. Rent per unit now will turn out to be how much? Twenty one rupees per unit. And for hundred fish fry, this fellow took let us assume thousand minutes. So he ended up paying a rent per minute of how much? Two point one rupees per minute. Can you write down till here in your books first, all of you?
Are you all done writing this? Fine, friends. Can you write down this now? Are you all done writing this also, friends? So, friends, here what happens is first I will show you in the way how we do it. Overhead incurred that is how much? 2100 rupees. Right? Point number B overhead absorbed that will be only 1000 units into. The absorption rate is 10 rupee per unit, right? Sorry, 100 units into 100 units into 10 rupee per unit. So do I get the answer as 1000 rupees? Therefore, wow, how much will be the underabsorbed overheads? That will turn out to be 1100. Or the entry will be overheads account debit to general ledger adjustment. Okay. After this, what will be the next entry? WIP account debit to overhead. The last one will be what? P and del to overhead will be 1100. Write down this in your books now, friends.
Our class is done and others also finished. <coughs> All right, please write down this entry in your books. Are you all done writing this print? I hope I'm not going fast. All right, friends. Shall we do it now? Okay. All right. So, friends, once you are done writing this, okay, I will now show you in that form of this thing. For fixed overhead variance, we have to find out AO, SRU, AFOH, BFOH, AH, SRH. So many things we have to find out. AO means actual output. Everyone tell me how much is the actual output in our case. 100 units and what was the standard rate per unit i think it was 10 rupees per unit actual fixed overhead was 2100 budgeted fixed overhead was how much 2000 actual hours how much has they taken friends 1000 minutes and this is going to be 1 rupee per minute once we have all this we can put up a table like this ao into sru AFOH, BFOH, AH into SRH. So here it will be 100 into 10. What is the answer you get over here? 1000. Here you will get 2100. 2000 and what about the last one? 1000 into 1 that will again be 1000. Logic and all I will tell you because you write down till here in your books.
<coughs> let everyone finish doing this friends Fine friends, I believe you are all done writing this. Okay, once you are done with this, I will first tell you the formula and then uh, we will plan this forward. So this will be 1, 2, 3 and 4. So I will first find out 1 minus 2 that is called as cost variance. So how much is the cost variance I will get over here? 1100 adverse. Apart from this, it will be expenditure variance will be 100 adverse. And the other volume variance will be 1000 adverse. Volume variance will be 1000 adverse. Inside this I will have capacity variance which will turn out to be 4 minus 3, 1000 adverse. And what is the last one called? Yield sub efficiency variance that will appear to be 0. Draw this chart in your book then I will tell you the logic one by one. I believe you are all done writing this. Fine. Friends, now I will explain the logic to you. First one is what? AO into SRU. This is nothing but 
फिक्सड ओवर हेड अब्सॉर्ब बेस्ड ऑन द नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स ए एफ ओ एच इज वॉट एक्चुअल फिक्सड ओवर हेड तो हाउ मच वॉज एक्चुअल फिक्सड ओवर हेड इन अवर केस टू थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड बी एफ ओ एच इज बजेटेड फिक्सड ओवर हेड हाउ मच वॉज प्लान एक्चुअली टू थाउजेंड एच That is also absorbed, but it is absorbed based on hours. First one is absorbed based on units. In this question, being a simple question, both are exactly the same. Can you write down this in your books now? Are you all done writing this, friends? Now, first variance is what cost variance. What is the formula? One minus two. That is A O into S R U minus A F O H. This is absorbed overhead minus actual overhead. So, friends, when you do absorbed minus actual, you will either get under absorbed overhead. Or you will get what over absorbed overhead. Now tell me, under absorbed overhead is what? Is it adverse variance or favorable variance? This will be adverse, whereas over absorbed overheads will be favorable. Can you write down this in your books now?
Are you all done writing this mail? All right. So that is the first one that is called as the cost variance. What is the second one that is coming over here? Expenditure variance. What is the formula for expenditure variance? It is 3 minus 2. So what is 3 over here? BFOH minus AFOH. BFOH was 2000. AFOH is 2100. You get the answer as 100 at worst. This means I thought my rent would be 2000. But actual rent turned to be 2100. Hence, I lost 100 rupees. Can you write down this in your books now, friends? I believe everybody is done with this part. Now the last one is volume variance. Remaining and all friends just by heart the formula and you can do it. What is the formula for volume variance? It is 1 minus 3. So AO into SRU minus what? BFOH. So here I'll tell you the formula friends. Actual output in 100 units into 10 rupees minus budgeted of per fixer overhead is how much friends can you tell me? How much is the budgeted fixer overhead? 2000. I'll tell you how you got this 2000. It's actually 200 units into 10 rupees. That is the budgeted output. So can I say in other words, this is nothing but 10 rupee into 100 unit minus 200 units or the formula is SRU into okay actual output minus what budgeted output. Right. Logic goes like this. I thought I will sell 200 units, but I sold only 100 units. Due to this, I lost 1000 rupees, which is due to volume. Then that's what you call it as volume variance. Can you write down this in your books now, friends?
I believe everybody is done writing this slide. All right, friends. If you are done with this, can you solve this problem now on your own? Question number seven. Wonderful. Everybody is getting the right answer now. <clears throat> Fine, friends. Shall we do it together now? So here it will be uh, AO into SRU, AFOH, BFOH, AH into SRH. So it will be 100 shirts into 10. 
Oh, does that turn out to be the same number that we had taken? Budgeted is 750, but the actual is 1500. Actual hours is how much? 100 into 12.5. So you get 1250. So do you get the answer as 500 adverse? <clears throat> then you get 750 adverse. 250 favorable. Inside this you have 500 favorable and 250 adverse. One more minute, let others finish. Then we will go to the next part. I believe everybody is done with this part frame. Anyone still writing? Fine friends. Last one is very easy. Sales variance, it is going to be BQ into BP, AQ into AP, AQ into BP. RAQ into BP. Friends, what is BQ? Budgeted quantity. For sales, you don't have a standard quantity. You only have a budgeted quantity. Everybody clear with that? So 1 minus 2 will be called as what? Sales variance. Inside this, you will have sales price variance. And here you will have sales volume variance. All right. Inside this mix variance. Yield variance. Can you put this format in your books now? Aman is done, Janvi is done.
are you all done with this part friends all right now do the last question of this uh then we will go to your study material problems please do this friends RAQ will be little challenging friends, just try doing this.
Wonderful friends, Ahan has got the answer. Janvi Aman has also got the answer. Let others also do it. Everybody has got the answer, friends. I'll just wait for a little more time. Four, five people have replied. I'm not going to do this on the board, friends. I want you to do it on your own. <clears throat> Excellent friends. I'll just do it on the board now. As I told you, it will be BQ into BP. Somebody please help me with the numbers, okay? AQ into BP and the last one is what? RAQ into BP. So you have 2000 into 2.5. Okay, the other one is going to be 1500 into 5. Then it is 1000 into 7.5. Okay, then it is 500 into... 10. So friends, tell me what is the total that you get over here? Is it 25,000? All right. Same way, AQ to AP will be 2,400 into 3. Then it is 1,400 into 4.5. Then it is 1,200 into 7. And the last one is 400 into 10.5. What is the total that you get over here? How much is the total? Twenty-six thousand one hundred, is it? Okay, so here it will be two thousand four hundred into two point five, thousand four hundred into five, thousand two hundred into seven point five, and five hundred into ten. Uh, sorry, four hundred into ten. So what's the total you get for this one? One moment. Is it twenty-six thousand? 
okay last one what is the total you get r a q into b p that will be total a q that will be 2400 plus 1400 plus 1200 plus 400 5400 in the ratio of 20 is to 15 is to 10 is to 5 right so that will be divided by 40 divided by 40 if i do then i multiply with 20 i think the number will be 2700 over here 15 will be 2025 10 will be 1350 and 5 will be 675 just confirm if this is the right number that you got is this exactly what you got friend 2.55 7.5 and 10 is this right and do you get the total as 27000 somebody please can no so i think i made a mistake is it Plus thousand four hundred plus thousand two hundred plus four hundred five thousand four hundred divided by twenty fifteen ten five thirty five forty five fifty okay okay sorry 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 this divided by twenty so that will be two one six zero is that correct and fifteen will be one six two zero and ten will be one zero eight zero. And five will be five forty. Is this correct by any chance, friends? Right? All right. So do you get the total as twenty seven thousand? Strike this. This is all wrong. Fine. So you will get the answer as thousand one hundred favorable. Twenty five thousand budgeted sale. Actual sale twenty six one hundred. So it is going to be thousand one hundred favorable. Everybody got that number, friends? Correct? Many might put it as adverse. I don't want you to do that. Inside this now you will have hundred favorable, thousand favorable. Inside thousand you will have another thousand favorable. Uh, this minus this will be adverse. Thousand adverse and two thousand favorable. I'll give you two more minutes. Finish it off, friends. We are done with the entire basics. So friends, are you all done? Friends, I believe we are all done. Can we pack up our session with this now? So, friends, we are done with the entire conceptual area today. I want you to properly revise, thoroughly revise, friends. I can stretch up to six and maybe do a few more problems. But tomorrow, when I do problem solving, I want all of you to give me the right answer on your own. That is more important, friends. And for that, it is very, very crucial. that your basics are absolutely strong let me just take the study material
friends we have done 100% of your study material i must have taken a little more time than required but friends we have covered 100% i have not left anything at all that is how you know exam point of view you will know how much important this is because they will ask straight from the study material straight problems maybe at the end of the class we'll try cracking a one or two question paper together so that you come to know what i am trying to tell here let me take the illustrations okay friends just read through illustration number 1 are you familiar with this you already did this now correct illustration 2 we have to do 3 also we will do 4 also we will do 5 are you familiar yes same thing we did for labor right okay then number 6 6 we will do it together 7 is again a very easy problem but we will do it together 8 is a very good question we will do it 9 is a variable overhead variance problem we will do this tomorrow so like this friends every question we will do tomorrow we'll crack each and every one of the some of them are already done in class that i will not repeat 14 problems are there as illustration friends and let me see how many questions are there to crack then we have 16 we have around 30 problems friends we'll try covering max to max tomorrow itself if it doesn't get over tomorrow we will take one more day not a problem but we will cover 100% for my full satisfaction so let's pack up our session with this now friends i'll see you tomorrow morning at not tomorrow uh thursday morning at 10:30 have a lovely day ahead take care thank you friends still going on it's too many say bye say bye yes please say bye to everyone come bye bye go come to the okay thank you friends have a nice time